In the following example, we are asked to find the required annual interest rate to the nearest tenth of a percent for $1,100 to grow to $1,400 if interest is compounded monthly for seven years. So let's write down everything that we know. For sure, we know the formula. We know the formula, and I'm going to write that down. So we have A equals P, the principal, so this is the future value, equals the principal times 1 plus the interest rate R, which we don't know, divided by N raised to the power TN, which T is the number of years and N is the number of times we're com compounding interest. So we are looking in this case for R, and it's a little bit of a process uh, to do this, so be sure that you have your calculator handy. But let's write down what we know. We know that the future value is going to be $1,400. We know that presently today we have $1,100. We know nothing about the interest rate, so I'm going to put a question mark. We know that for T, as far as years are concerned, it's seven years. And let's see, N is the number of times we're compounding, and it's said here monthly. So we are going to make this a 12. All right, now let's fill in what we know and then try to work with what we've got. So we've got 1,400 equals 1,100 times 1 plus R, which is what we're solving for. N is 12, and raised to the 12 times 7, or 7 times 12. They're interchangeable at that point. All right. Now what we want to do is try to isolate this R. So the first thing we can do before we even touch the exponents is to divide both sides by the $1,100. So let's go ahead and do that. So 1,100 and cross that out. And we're left here with uh, 1.27. And it's going to equal 1 plus r over 12 raised to the 12 times 7, which is 84. Now. Let's just assume, let's just say, for example, that this was 1 plus r over 12 squared. So how would we take, uh, how would we solve for r in that case, or how would we isolate? How would we get rid of the square in that case? Okay, if you said square root, then you're correct. So if this was squared, to get rid of the square, the second power, we would take the square root. And that's actually what we're going to do. Except in this case, we have the power 84. So we're going to take the 84th root. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to raise everything here to the power 1 over 84. 1 over 84. Because 84 times 1 84th is just 1. And that gets us a little bit closer to solving. Now this right here, you'd have to punch in on your calculator. And you're going to get something that looks like this. one point. 0028, I believe, and it's going to equal 1 plus r over 12. Okay, next thing to do is subtract 1. We subtract 1, this cancels, and here I have 0 0.0028 equals r divided by 12. Now, how would we solve for r in this case? The very last step, multiply both sides by and in doing so here, we get something along the lines of 0 0.0336, which is R. And to get a percent, we would scoot this decimal place over twice. And we get something that looks like 3.36%. Uh, but they say they want it to the nearest tenth of a percent. So the actual rounded answer, uh, this right here tells us to round up, is 3.4%. So this is our R, our interest rate R. Okay, so that's how you'd solve uh, this problem. It's, it's very simple if you think about it. Just use some intuition and uh, uh, like I said, you'll, you'll figure out this uh, type of equation very quickly.